Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So I've been asked the question from a few guys that have got the MB4 and followed my video on how to update the FTR10 to work with the MB4. And now they're contemplating getting a Pro with the new firmware and they're wondering if the FTR10 will work or if it needs an update. But if we uh, pop in the bind plug and then we give it a bit of power. So we can see it's in bind mode. So channel definition, it's a 10 channel. Uh, frequency setup is AFH DS3 two way because it's a telemetry one. Let's go into RX set, bind, bind as classic. So yeah, with no firmware update, it does actually bind straight away. So let's see if it's actually working correctly. So we'll go for channel two throttle. Yep, we've got a servo working. So let's now see if we can set all the way up to channel 10. So we'll go in channel 10 and set it to just some at random. So then we'll unplug it. Don't need bind plug in. And we'll put it into channel 10. So now if we switch it. So yeah, all full 10 channels working. And we've not had to update it if we power it off and power it back up. It reconnects straight away to it, so there's no weirdness on that front. Um, the only thing I am going to try with this is let's go up to PC, plug this in. Now we've got this bound and see if either Assistant will be able to update the firmware through the Noble Pro or if we can download a new version of the receiver updater and that will also uh, should also be able to update the FTR10 because although it binds it would be nice if we can get the uh, software on the latest one right so for this one you're gonna have to load up Assistant V3 you're going to make sure that your Noble Pro is on, your FTR10 is connected to it and bound to it, and then start up Assistant, turn on your controller, make sure your receiver's powered up, and then you should get this bit where it says Device Online. So we can click on that. You can see it's showing our Noble Pro on the latest firmware and then it's also showing us that the FTR10 is on firmware 1.34 so we can click bind force update you'll hear your Noble Pro make a noise and we can see we've got the original firmware so or an older one 1010 uh, sorry 1.10 and a newer firmware that is 1.38 Eight instead of 1.34 that we've currently got so we can click continue this will now try and download the new firmware for the receiver you can see on your uh, Noble Pro it'll change to tell you do not operate while it's updating the receiver So now it's automatically put the receiver into update mode. You will hear signal lost alarm from your transmitter. And then you'll get the notification updated successfully. So if we refresh device, it should now realize that it's disconnected. Yep, so that's disappeared. So we can power off the receiver and then plug in our bind pin or bind plug. Then power it back up. So we're in bind mode 
and on the pro we can go to bind again bind set classic start bind we now see it's bound back up so we'll power it off remove the bind pin power it back up and it's connected back up properly then on our assistant we can go back to as device settings tell it to refresh and we can see that our FTR 10 is now on the latest firmware available from Flysky Assistant fully bound up to its controller if we power cycle it it'll bind straight back up instantly so that's all really nice so there you go we have a fully connected and updated FTR 10 on the Noble Pro on the latest firmware. Now, the only other thing we've got to try is to see if Flysky's firmware updater can actually update the uh, firmware of the FTR 10 through the Noble Pro. So, for that one, we're going to close Assistant V3. And then let's just do a few things to make this nice and easy. So you want to create a folder on your desktop. We've got as a system B3, so we'll create a new folder in there and call it FTR10. So we've got as FTR10 folder. Then you're going to go to uh, Flyscar's website, click on Flagships, and then Noble Pro. Then if we scroll down, go on Downloads and Upgrades. So we've got a few things we can try here. We've got Receiver Updater Upgrade Version, Downgrade Version, which I believe we used them when we was using the FTM02, 302 Range Extender. But let's have a look at this Flysky Receiver Updater. So we click download on this, you want to go to your desktop, your assistant v3 folder, your FTR10 folder, click save. That's going to download. Once you've got it downloaded, if you've got WinRAR installed, you should just be able to right click on it and then extract to here. Then you can get rid of the uh, RAR folder because we don't need that anymore. We can go into here and this is the update of software. So if we click on this and then let's power cycle our Noble Pro. So, it's detected USB, it's detected that it's got an FTR10 connected to it. So, let's click upgrade and see what happens. We don't get a choice of firmware. But we have got a flashing light on the FTR10. And it does look like it's automatically put it into update mode. We do get the signal lost, sort of reported. And it says it's updated successfully. So I'm guessing 1.38 is the latest version. But yeah, you can use this if you don't want to wait for the Assistant V3 to log in and everything. You can just download and use the Flysky Receiver Updata. Uh, what I would do, I would power it. I would have your Noble Pro powered off, then start this program. Because with mine, I power cycled it after I'd started it, and it got a bit confused and froze for a bit. But don't be worried if it goes into not responding for a few seconds when it's opened, or 30 seconds or so. The program is just connecting through the Noble Pro and checking what firmware is available for your receiver at that point. So it will go not responding for a while. But... 
that's fully updated and because it didn't have to change the firmware version because we'd already got it we didn't need to rebind it automatically uh, stayed bound up and it does fully work so two different ways of updating your receiver and both work and we end up with a fully functioning FTR 10 on the latest firmware on our uh, Flysky Noble Pro V3 firmware so let's wrap this one up so there you have it the FTR 10 fully bound up and working and also we've got the uh, options shown on how you can update the firmware on this once you get it bound to your Noble Pro but thanks again for watching WTFRC cars if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell share to friends and family and uh, catch you guys again in the next one